What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Uh, hey, how's it going? Solidus and uh, Yumo, welcome back. How you guys doing? Nice to be in chat so early. Um, what am I playing today? That's a good question. I just got my Famicom AV in from Japan today, and uh, they sent me a, a stack of games. And I have no idea what they are, except for two of them um, that they prominently displayed because they're actually, like, well-known games. <laughs> the rest of them just... I don't really know. Um, there's uh, something called Rolling Thunder. Um, and I think that's the only one that has an English title. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going to find out. Uh, but I don't, I don't... I'm not sure. Um, let's see what we got going on here. I should have... Alright, there we go. That is the first game that I have set up already. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, I'm pretty sure you play as the guy in red, or it could be a girl. I don't know. I don't discriminate. Um, and you fight all sorts of horrors, uh, flaming leopards... Uh, horned blue demons, floating skulls, and giant magical eyeballs. So it looks it looks interesting. Uh, but anyway, uh, I pretty much just put these games in to make sure that they worked right off the bat. But this is almost going to be like a test run in case I have to leave an angry review uh, over eBay. But uh, hopefully that won't happen. I think uh, I'm crossing my fingers here. I think we're going to have a bit of luck tonight. And uh, it's only going to be a short stream. I'm only doing this, so... Uh, it's, it's not going to be terribly long, Yumo, if you're only staying for an hour. That is cool. Um, alright, so... Let's see if it... Oh yeah, I have to turn it on first. That would, uh, that would help. Oh good, there it is. Okay, so I've never streamed off of Famicom before. This is my first time. Uh, so this should be pretty interesting. Uh, hopefully everything works all right. Uh, if the volume needs to be adjusted, just let me know. I'll be sure to make those adjustments. Okay, I think, uh, I think we're all good. Let's see. Uh, oh boy, this looks... This looks action-packed. Uh, Kawayashiki or something. I didn't quite catch that. Um, alright, cool. So, uh, I am in fact a person in red, so that, that, uh, that was true. Uh, Famicom, not too many controls, obviously, since it's basically just the Japanese NES. Um, I can jump, I can move, and I can crouch, and I can throw daggers, I think, so. That is enough for me. Oh, shit. Um... I don't think I've actually... No, I've streamed I've streamed uh, NES games before. I've streamed bootleg uh, NES games before, actually. My first year of streaming. That was one of the first things I, I streamed. Like, one of the earliest things. Um, God, that thing is, like, not dying right now. Um, but I think that's the extent of my, uh, my NES and Famicom uh, streaming days, was pretty much just that. So... You know, may maybe this, this will encourage me to do something else. I need a... Uh, I actually don't have an NES, but... Um, I could get a converter for the Famicom that can, uh, so I can play NES games, so that might be an option, that would be pretty cool. Um, so far this game is okay, I guess. Seems pretty average. Let's see. That is you today, I don't know what that, what is that? <laughs> it's a nice looking emote though, gotta say. Alright, um, cool. That took a long time to kill that one snake, but, uh, I'm glad we did it. But I'm like, I'm like halfway down on my health, so I don't know. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Um, I mean, I, I guess you don't expect too much from, uh, Famicom games. Uh, the really, really good ones got a little bit of story behind them, and even some cutscenes, like uh, Ninja Gaiden and stuff like that, but, uh, uh, we can't expect all all games to be like that. So, um, for now I'm just a guy that is going through various gray and blue blocks and um, fighting miscellaneous horrors, uh, which include 
kimono wearing ghosts and uh, bats. Oh, nice! I got a full full HP. That's cool. Also, the background comes out in a taxi. That's pretty. That's pretty intense. Oh, I see what happened. It opened up a little block here. Gotcha. Oh, ah! What is that? Is that a frog? It's like a frog wearing a, a witch's costume. Oh my god. This is horrifying. Oh, nice! I think I got a, uh... Digging the music. I think this is invincibility? I guess I'm not taking any damage, so, I mean, that's cool. as many games on the Famicom and NES were a platformer, which I'm not so great at, but I will, uh, I'll make do. Um, it's gonna be horrifying, because, uh, one of the, one of the games I got was Ninja Ryukuden, uh, which is Ninja Gaiden. Uh, so I was never too great at that game. Um, I never played it all that much, but the fact still remains, I was never too great at it. You don't even know what it, what it is. Okay, fair enough. We don't we don't need to know what things are to try and be them. Oh man, I got like super speed or something. Um, there's a little. Oh no, I thought there was a flaming guy. I think it's just a flame. It looks like a little. Uh, I don't know, like a little muppet or something that's like on fire. And he's like dancing, dancing around, kicking his feet up. Okay, cool. It's gonna get tricky now. Um, oh boy, I don't know what that is. Is that a cigarette? Or a burrito? Could be a flashlight. I, I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out when it comes time to use it. Whenever that may be. Alright, getting, getting tricky-dicky. So far, so good. Um, controls aren't bad. As I was uh, trying to say earlier. Or did I say? I'm not too sure. Um, jumping is a little, uh, it's a little floaty. I guess that's not bad. It's not a bad thing. I kind of get used to it pretty quick. So, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Um, wish there was a little more to look at, but, you know, again, Famicom, you can't expect too, too much. But I dig, I dig the, the faces. There's many horrifying faces in the background. So, uh, there's that, yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice! There's a ton of HP in here. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be spending on each game. I, I've got seven of them, uh, so maybe maybe ten minutes each. I'm only thinking this is going to be like an hour, hour-long stream or so. Uh, oh, nice boss! What the hell? He's like a he's like a reverse KKK. <laughs> oh God! Ah! Yeah, he's like a he's like a black grand wizard. He's got like a fairly easy pattern, I guess, though. So whatever. Oh no, he mixed he mixed it up. What what will I do? Oh. Uh. Wow. Okay, his attacks are getting faster. I wish they had like a life bar, you know, like Mega Man or something like that, but it's all right. Shit. Oh no! Ooh, did I get him? I did. And I got like a rope or so he turned into like string. <laughs> Digging this music. This is this is this is like Castlevania in uh, in Asia. Hey, what's up, Vamp? Good to see you, man. It's been a little while. I don't want to leave. This is like really kick-ass music. Listen to this stuff. And turn it up. Okay, it's getting a little chaotic now, but. <laughs> Seriously though, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. 
Oh, leaving soon? All right. But yeah, I appreciate appreciate you stopping by nonetheless. This game's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what's going on, and I don't know what it is. Oh man! Oh, we 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 get this as the as the uh, overworld music. How sweet is that? And there's like a key down there, but that looks kind of like uh, water, maybe. Oh no, that is water. Yeah, this <laughs> is a fish. Oh man. Uh, oh, I can't get down there anyway. Oh no, I can. Never mind. Nice. What does a power mod even do? Oh, you mean the uh, the meter? Um, power meter is just, I guess, the health. Um, which I've figured due to the fact that I'm getting hit and it seems to be dropping, so I can only assume. Um, and every time I get one of those red orbs, it replenishes, so I'm just going to assume that's health. Most Fortunately for most games in the Famicom NES era, um, there doesn't need to be a whole lot of explanation given the limited controls and capability of the console itself, so um, it's fairly easy to figure out most of the stuff. I kind of wish I knew what those burritos were at the bottom that I apparently have four of, but um, for now I guess I won't worry about it. <laughs> um, maybe if I press... Uh, it's like nothing really does anything different, uh, so I don't know. I don't know what the experience does either. I don't, it, I, I've gotten oh so little. <laughs> Oh, okay. I got you. Well, no worries there, man. Nice of you to drop by anyway. What? What the hell? What is this? What is this guy? He doesn't look like he fits in, like, the in, in the universe. It's like Mozart or something. <laughs> Throwing CDs at me. I'm getting my ass handed to me by Mozart and, like, foxes. This isn't good. I'm glad that the level actually, uh, the game, rather, um, the level design kind of changed up a bit, because if I had to stare at, like, a thousand faces, like, gruesomely staring at me, again, that would have been kind of rough. But, um, this is, this is actually a pleasant surprise. I'm actually surprised that the game that wasn't, like, advertised as part of, like, the ones that they were giving me, um, is actually decent, so that's cool. Do I... what do I do here? Can I go through that door? No. Just gotta go through the roof. Uh, okay! <laughs> do I have to kill that thing? What? I don't... I don't understand. Oh! Okay, the power of being a mod. Um... Mm, as far as the channel goes, it just means that you can, um... It's really just for security. Um, you can uh, time out and uh, like ban people from the chat. I think there's a couple other fun functions. I'm not too. F I'm a mod and one other channel, but I don't even know what what there is. Y depending on the channel itself, I mean, you could get a handful of capabilities, but um, there's not. It's there's not too many. Ah. I'm gonna die. I just don't know, I'm not too sure what to do. Maybe my burritos can help me here. If I if I only knew how to use them. Eh. Come on. Huh. Alright. Well. Is this, is this the end of the game? I think it was just intended for you to just finish right here. All right. Well, I take everything I said back about this game being good. Um. Well, you know, I'm sure there's a way to progress. I'm dead now. But why don't we move on? We. Oh wow. What's going on? He just like rejuvenated. Uh. I'm just gonna look back here just like really quick and see if there's something else. Something I missed. Ah. Hit. No! There wasn't foxes on the roof before. Maybe I could pull these plants out and I'll have a doorway like Mario 2. No? Okay. I think. I think we're good. Um. Hmm. Alright. Well, I think that's it for whatever game this is. It's made by Jaleco. So.
That's about as much as I can say about that. But uh, not bad, not bad. Pleasantly surprised. Um, what other game do I have? The next one in the lineup actually has an English title here. It is called Rolling Thunder. Uh, there we go. Uh, Namcot. That sounds like a, a ripoff of Namco, but I actually think that is Namco. <laughs> I don't know what the extra T is doing in there, but I'm sure somebody knows the answer. Um, looks pretty cool, like a uh, spy uh, flying through the air, looking looking pretty slick. Um, nice, uh, like, piccolo on the TV screen, like, really up front. You can barely see the top of his head. Um, and then uh, I see some I see some boobies, some, some of them anime titties, man. Um, <laughs> something's going on in there. That's a really uh, low cut. Uh, top on there. That's, that's pretty cool. I, I can see a little clear on my cartridge. <laughs> All right, that's that's enough of that. Uh, why don't we find out what the game is like? How about that? There we go. Um, is it working? Okay, it is. Nice. Okay, there's a little demo. All right, all right. This is this looks this looks pretty solid. Um, I like how it seems to be in English, even though it's a Famicom game. I mean, it has an English title, so sure, why not? Okay. Uh, password? No, I don't have one of those. Um, player one ready. Okay, nice. <laughs> oh wow, he went down hard. All right, this is pretty slick. I gotta say, I dig it. Ah, this is uh, this is this seems a little advanced for Famicom. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Bullet. There's bullets in here. Oh, okay. You have limited ammo. Wow. Ah, oh, shit. Jumped on my head. Oh no. Wow, that was quick. They're not as generous with life as as uh, they were in the last game. Um, can you be a mod? Uh. I kind of don't need any right now. I've got three mods right now, and they're infrequent, but they're here, you know, most of the time. Um, and the channel's just not that big right now, so I probably won't be. <laughs> so there's there's not really a need for it. Um, I'll say this, though. If, um, if you're here, like, a lot, um, it, it definitely helps your chances of being a mod, but... Um, for right now, it's just, it's not a necessary thing, I think. Okay, alright, so you only get two hits, I've determined. Ah, shit. Um, oh, wow, he jumps really high. Good lord. I didn't think that was possible. That was like the last thing I had in mind was to jump straight to the second level. Alright, so I got a time limit, so I gotta, I gotta hurry. Oh, okay, I got, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, these guys can jump pretty damn high, too. Come on. Oh! Oh, shit. I'm actually really kind of surprised that, like, everything is in English. That's that's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's a little strange. But, um, hey, I welcome it. Because, uh, if there does happen to be anything concerning the English language, that means uh, I'll be able to understand. Or anything, anything reminiscent of a uh, of a plot. Arms. Okay. What does that mean? Nice. I got like an SMG. <sighs> okay. Come on. The only problem is I can't I can't uh, shoot while jumping. Um, and this gun really isn't all that much, all that powerful because these guys still take two hits. Uh but it is. Ah, shit. It is a little bit quicker. All right, so this is this is pretty cool too. I gotta say, um, initially when I first saw the lot of games, um, I'm like, oh man, most of that is gonna be just pure shit. But um, it, so far, two not not too bad games. Um, I, I uh, ah, damn it, I'm digging this one. I get that um, I get that SMG. Again with the uh, the KKK though, these guys kind of look. Uh, what's what's with the uh, the hoods? I just I just fought like a uh, 
like a grand wizard, like reverse in, in black robes, KKK member in the last game. Um, oh man, midair, shit. I died there last time too, god damn it. But then like these guys, they're like, they're like KKK grunts in like a very technicolor clothing. Except for this guy. He, you know what he looks like? He lo oh my god. I, I don't want to invoke the uh, the name, but they, they look kind of like minions. I gotta say. <laughs> How terrible is that? I mean, well, I mean, if anything, it'll just give me more mo motivation to kill him. So, I mean, that's that's good, I guess. Hey, oh, that was bullshit! What crap? Okay, this game is a little bit tricky. It's a little hard. I mean, this just isn't to be unexpected, necessarily, because uh, yeah, NES and Famicom are known for being, uh, having some, like, really, really hardcore difficulty games. So, you just gotta watch your step. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. Let's just hope he doesn't, all right, there we go. Alright. Just gotta concentrate. Just focus. No, oh, damn it! I should have I should have known. Oh no, what really? <sighs> came came right from underneath. Uh when am I playing South Park? South Park will probably happen on Wednesday. I think it's gonna be the last time too. Um, because it seems like I'm pretty close to the end of the game, so. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's probably gonna happen on Wednesday. Mmm. No! Ah, oh, shit! Alright, yeah, I'm not being... Oh, he's getting ready to punch me. What a, what a bastard. Nice and steady. Just gotta be careful. Just watch who's coming out of the doors or jumping over boxes. Okay, alright, alright. Just gotta be careful. Commentary will be a little bit lax. Nope. No, 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 no. Got all my life. I mean, this is just the first level too, so it's. I mean, it's kind of sad on my part, but <laughs> this game is kind of kicking my ass right now. So nice. Digging the music for this game too. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Ho ho ho. Oh, uh... No! Oh, shit. I wish there was, uh... Like, something to replenish my health. I mean, I made it sort of far. What would be nice, or to have, like, a checkpoint or something, that'd be cool, too. Oh, man, they got guns now. It's not good. Oh, damn it! Oh, you're taking off, Yuma? Alright. Well, thank you for joining in. It's good to have you here, even if it was just for a little bit, but um, we'll catch you... I'm not going to stream tomorrow, so... Uh, going to be pretty busy, but uh, Wednesday. Uh, especially if you're looking forward to South Park. That is the day it's going to happen, so... Might see you then. But uh, take care. I'm going to give this one more shot. Um... Oh good, it starts me off on the second part. That's that's good. Alright. Alright, just gotta concentrate. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh wow. That took out two health? That's too bad. Alright, one more time. Cause that, that was that was a little bit bullshitty. something 
here. Uh, what time? Um, probably around this time. Um, well, actually a little bit earlier. Maybe maybe an hour earlier um, is what time I usually start. Because I start at about 6 um, Eastern Standard Time. So um, you can you kind of expect it around then. And uh, I was a little bit late because I was trying to set this thing up. Ooh! Shit, how am I going to do this? Oh! Ah, damn it! I thought it passed me. God damn. Alright, well. Ugh, one more time. <laughs> Is there, like, no body armor or alternative routes that I could take? Because that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Like these doors don't go anywhere either. They're like strictly for enemy spawning. Whoa, oh man. That freaking leaps out like, you know, a frogman or something. I mean, I guess I'd kind of do too, so. Touche. Um, ah, shit. It's something that I could like. Um, I don't know. It's like I, I kind of don't want to go too far. Just in case there is an alternative route, but uh, I'm not seeing anything. Alright, Yuma. Take care. Oh, man! Alright. Well, there goes that. That... That's okay, though. I think we were just about done with it anyway, as far as our time limit is concerned. This was a pretty cool game. Uh, Rolling Thunder is the name of that one. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's got like green men on it and got some anime boobies. So, that is A-OK -okay in my book. Next game. Uh, let me pull up an image for it. It, uh, this one is completely in Japanese. In fact, it's got the most Japanese text. It's got the most text I've ever seen on a game cartridge. No joke. Um, this isn't the cartridge, but this is the only image I could find of it. Um, that little E there in the top right corner, that is the logo for Enix, which merged with Squaresoft uh, in the 2000s to be Square Enix. Uh, so yeah, this is an NX game. It came out in 1985, apparently. Um, it's got, I guess, I'm assuming what's there in the blue <laughs> section is all the title. I don't know what that is. Um, and, and the cartridge has even more words than, than that. So, uh, yeah, should be, um, interesting, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, hopefully. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> but, uh, whatever this is, uh, yeah. It looks it looks like a drama or something. Get the man putting uh, putting his coat over some some woman. Maybe it'll be pretty cool. Oh man, sirens! <laughs> what the hell? What is this? <laughs> it's like the like the lamest expression I've ever seen. Oh my god, there's there's a lot of text. I don't know. Uh, what kind of game this? Okay. Yeah, sure thing, bud. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> um, uh, oh, man, it's been a while since I even looked into translating Japanese. I don't know. All right, Mr. Buffont. Um, yeah, he's asking me a question. Oh, oh, oh boy. Um, is this my house? <laughs> um, boy, what what the hell kind of game is this? It's like the game just started too. There was no title screen. It, it just was this guy with a lot of hair, and he just started asking me questions. And now we're in front of a house. Oh, and now we're in an office. Okay, or is it a, a is it an interrogation room? I'm I'm not too sure. 
I see bars on the window there. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yep, yep, uh, this one. I've been looking at that one for a while. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hello, sir. Um, I'm assuming we brought you in here for some reason. <laughs> I think, I think this is an interrogation. Holy shit. Like, the uh, the listing was in English, too, so you figured that they would have, um, they would have, uh, given games, like, in the lot that, you know, appealed to, uh, English speakers, such as myself. <sighs> I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what you're saying. Um, hmm. Well, I hate to say it, guys, but I think this one is a bust. Uh, yeah, I, I have absolutely no way of understanding any of this. I mean, maybe there's a slight, I mean, it took me a while to, f it didn't take me a while, but there was barely any images for this game, so that doesn't boost my confidence as far as, um, its popularity. Uh, I was thinking maybe someone has, like, a translated manuscript, uh, but I really don't want to put that much effort into it, not knowing what it is, so... Uh, I hate to say it, but whatever this game is, it's, um, not playable in my book. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so that actually gives us a little more time to spend on some of the other games, I guess. Uh, what is the next game? The next game is something by Konami. So, it should be pretty good, yeah. Let's see, this one. Uh, yep, that is the exact cartridge that I have. Um, it just, I mean, it's all right there. It's got something. But then it says, Hino Tori in, uh, English. So, or Romanized, rather. So, there you go. Uh, I don't really know what's going on. It looks like this might be based off of, um, an anime. I don't really know what Hino is, but I, I know Tori is a bird, I'm fairly sure. You got, like, uh, Buddha with his outstretched hand, and there's, like, some chick standing in there, and then there's this guy in the uh, bottom left that has his eyes blocked out <laughs> by text. Same with uh, a woman, I think, and then you get, like, half an eye down on the bottom right. So, uh, I don't know what this is. It's made by Konami, and it has something to do with birds. So, there you go. Let's check it out. What was that? I think it was a bird. Oh. Uh, Kado Kawa Shoten. No, 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 don't go to the demo. Tezuka Production. And Konami. Nice. Uh, okay, well, there you go. There's your bird. I am playing like a... Did I get off like a ship or something? I'm like a, a pirate with a really big nose. Nice! Okay, problem number one. I can't jump uh, high enough to get up on this ledge. Oh. I think I turned it into a block. Why is there so many snakes? Oh, shit. Okay, so my, my powers include... Oh, no, that just, like, manifested on its own. My powers include turning things into blocks. So, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, ow. I can't open, like, the treasure chest. Oh, my God. I can't open the treasure chest. Um, it looks like by pressing the attack button and down, I can just, like, spawn a block. Uh, so... try it. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so I understand marginally what's going on. Oh, hey, there's another pirate. Everybody's turning blocks.
Oh, come on. Okay, I see what's going on. So you have a limited number of blocks at the top, um, and you can turn enemies into blocks that you can then collect while they're orange, I think. Shit. Uh, alright, so, I mean, I got the basic mechanics down, I guess. Okay, cool. I'm punching... punching fences. I think I got a little bit of treasure or something like that. Oh, wow, did I turn invincible or something? I'm, I'm all white. But there's like no other <laughs> indication that, uh... Alright, well, I guess it doesn't matter now, anyway. Okay, watch... This! Yeah! I'm the master. Alright, so you gotta, you gotta do a little... Gotta do a little thinking, I think. Uh, Alright, cool, that actually worked. Um, so the game has some puzzle aspects, so that's more than can be said for most of the other games. Or the other, the other three. I played three. Well, two, but... Sweet, okay. Okay, so I kinda, I kinda dig it. It's, um, it's interesting. I cannot recall another another Famicom game or another game in general that kind of has like this mechanic, um, which is really simple. But I mean, it's pretty cool. So, like, just the ability to like create steps. So yeah, not bad. Oh shit. God damn it. Oh, game over, no. Alright, rest. Oh, what? Oh, rest, yeah, that's another word for life. For some reason I was thinking that was a checkpoint. Alright, well, I'll give it another shot. Now that I, like, kinda know what to do. Oh, ah, damn. Oh man, the lag. Good old, good old Nintendo lag. Shit. Shit. Snake, please. I wish you could crouch and shoot, though. That, that's... That would be ideal. I'll just take what I can get. It's not a it's not a huge problem, but uh, it would be a little a little nice nicer if that was a, a thing. No, oh! <laughs> it's only one life. going on with this guy's face either. It's kind of creeping me out. I don't know if he's got like a big nose or his lip is just upturned like really high. Ugh. commentary I'm getting into it so <laughs> I guess that's a good sign um I think it's pretty cool though again it's like um, I haven't really played a I don't think I've played a game like this before or at least 
with this being the main mechanic, so it's, I mean, it's fairly interesting. Full health, so... Um, the rocks aren't like... Okay, there they go. Is he gonna attack, or what's going on here? Again, this is a uh, kind of like another game. I think I see what's going on though. Where there's no enemy health bar, which would be nice. Cool. I don't know what that was, but that looked that looked pretty intense. was a piece of a picture. <laughs> eh. Is that the Triforce? No, it's like the, the Hyrule symbol. That's what it looked like. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, it's little miniature versions of the of the boss. What is with all these treasure chests? I don't get it. It's like I can't do anything to open them up, so... What's the point? Box. Ah, oh, I saw it coming too. <sighs> We're just gonna start me off. Um, all right. Well, you know what? Let's see. Let's see a little bit more, because this game seems pretty cool. So, <laughs> unless you get like hit by a thousand foxes. Oh, I shot the chest and it opened up. Do they all do that. They do. Oh, okay. Well, Goddamn. I didn't know. Seems like most of them are just points anyway. I did get like a drum or something. So I guess that's cool. No! Oh, okay. That started me off further than I thought it would. Time freeze. Pretty slick. Oh, sweet. Uh, what do they call those in uh, in Pokemon? <laughs> like the early English version. Um, jelly donuts. Yeah, <laughs> they're like uh, they're onigiri. Um, they're like rice balls. But no, no, no. We have to be very uh, protective uh, uh, over our American foods. You can't you can't say rice ball. No one will know what, what the hell you're talking about. Rice ball? Whatever could this dish be? Yeah, it's a, it's a jelly donut. Just don't worry about it. Nice health. I don't know. I still don't know what that is. Like the massive build up to an explosion. Oh look, there's another piece. Oh, do that again, damn it. Shit. This is interesting. Do I just have to get it? Because that seems pretty easy. <laughs> nice. That wasn't so bad. Alright, we got another piece of the puzzle. Ugh. Nice, got another 
Hyrulean symbol. Am I screwed? Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was screwed for a second. Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn. No. Ah, bastards. Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, oh, damn. Oh, I got a little more... Okay, I see what the Hyrule symbol does. It gives you more life space, but it doesn't replenish your life any. So that kind of sucks. Invincibility! Oh, what? What is this? This is like game-breaking. I was like phasing through objects. Oh, man. Alright. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! Oh, I messed myself up there. Ugh. Okay, well, I still got three more to go. Um, and I think that is gonna be it for this one. Really cool game. Um, another one that I am pleasantly surprised by. This is actually turning out to be like a good uh, handful of games. Um, and you know what the funny thing is? I'm sure that the, the one that was all in Japanese text, I'm sure that that's a good game too. Uh, just, uh, I can't read it, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, but let's see what we got. Uh, our next game, game number five, I believe. Uh, this was another. Oh, this is another one that has a um, English title. It is called Field Combat. Uh, this too kind of looks like it was taken out of an anime, like the uh, the last one was. I've never heard of it. Um, Got some really cool looking dudes, like the the guy that's in the, uh, he's the second from the right. He looks really like 70s American. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and then the, the guy on the far right, his face is a little messed up. That's all right. We don't, we don't really care. Uh, either way, it looks kind of cool. It's, um, it's, it's another Jaleco game. Jaleco famous for putting their name on the cartridges front and center instead of the name of the game, but... Whatever. Um, it sucks if you have, if you're looking just for top labels, because they don't do that. Jaleco's too good for top labels, and even if they did do a top label, it would just be their name. I'm dead serious. <laughs> That's all they ever do. Uh, but let's take a look. Well, no no bullshit. Just straight to the nitty gritty. Uh, oh, hold on, I need a drink of water. I didn't know it was going to start so quick. Actually, I probably could have assumed. Just from the fact that it just, like, took you right there. No intro or nothing. What the hell do I have? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like the ship from, um... Ah, oh, damn it. I'm like the ship from Galaga that takes your ships. Except I'm just doing it to like soldiers with bazookas. So is that is that all this game is? So I just like capture soldiers. It's like you can't kill them either. It's just you capture them. That's all. Oh no, you can kill. Them. Let's see. I got missiles. That dude like jack shit. Good lord. Okay, there we go. The animations are pretty damn solid. I gotta say for such like very tiny sprites. Okay, so I'm getting I'm getting the idea that this this is kind of like a uh, you only get one hit that really sucks. I'm getting the idea that this is kind of like um, Space Invaders, like an advanced version of Space Invaders. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to advance, but it looks like my base is, um, is down at the bottom there. And these guys are kind of advancing. So... Helicopter, please. Shit. What is this? What is this at the bottom? I don't get it. You're mine now. Is that a hover car? What is that? It's a UFO. Oh shit! Oh no, he's coming. He's getting close. Oh, that is bullshit! No! Play, player one game over. Okay, so this one's really, really arcadey. Um, it's not a bad thing. It seems pretty simple. The visuals are very minimalistic. Um, the controls are fine. I move really slow. I, I would prefer it if I was a little bit quicker. I, I think I'm a UFO. You would think a UFO would move a little faster, but you know what, whatever. I'm not gonna argue semantics of made up things. Ah, oh, shit! I'll say one thing, the rotating on my UFO is the the dish. It's very impressive. And uh, when the soldiers like fall over, I, you would think they die, but they don't. They just like get up. I, I the missiles only seem to disable their weapons. It seems to be all it's good for. Oh no! Wish there was a little bit more music to speak of than the, um, you know, the, the charge theme. I don't know what that's called. It's from something. And then it just like, like flips the, <laughs> it just flips its shit like after the Oh no. No, don't kill. If I if I okay, I think I ran into it. I was going to ask if I run into that like if I if my pixels come in contact with its pixels, do I die? I don't think so. Yeah, I've got these guys on the run though. Oh no. Oh no, they're coming. Helicopter, please. Okay, I think I think the goal is just to like advance, because I can't go back down. Oh shit! What do we got going on here? Oh damn! This is bringing back some like arcade memories. Nice. Advance. They surrender. They surrender with their broken flag. Nice. The Genesis 3. I think that's my ship. That's a cool name. Alright, level 2. Oh, damn. We got tanks. I don't know if I'm getting better at the game, or if the tanks just have a bigger hitbox, but I seem to be hitting these guys a lot easier than, uh, the soldiers. I think they have a bigger hitbox. Ah, shit, no! Oh, sweet, I can capture tanks. Damn. 
Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Ooh. Ooh, it's good. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the brown stuff slows you down. Oh, no! Shit. I gotta do all that over again. I feel like if I go in the brown stuff, I'm, I'm pretty much screwed too, so there's like no winning. Alright, here we go. Ooh, wow, that was quick. Nope. Yes! Yes! No! No! Damn it. That was close. Tanks, please. This is almost like, um, this is like Atari tier games. Oh, that's bullshit! Ugh. Now, now the hitboxes are not going in my favor. Come on, man. Come on. Mm! Alright. Does it start me from the beginning? Or does it start me? Yeah, it starts me from the beginning. Goddamn. <sighs> Alright. I think that's enough of that. I think we have an idea of what that game is like. And we know that it works, so... Good deal. Um, this thing is getting really hot. The one thing I'm worried about with the Famicom is that uh, Japanese plugs use a different wattage, I believe, than the American ones. Um, I believe we use uh, 120 uh, volts in the States, and they use just 100. Um, so, by keeping it plugged in and playing it for a while, I am giving it a lot of power. I'm noticing that the cartridges are actually getting pretty warm. Um, so, another reason why I didn't want to stay too long with this, but we only got two games left. The next one is Ninja Ryukoden, uh, otherwise known as Ninja Gaiden, uh, as it was released in the States. I have only played a little bit of Ninja Gaiden, and I don't know if I if it was, if it was the first one that I played. I don't think it was. I want to say it was the second one, um, <clears throat> and I played a little bit of that one, but not much. Uh, but that is the cartridge, uh, Tecmo. There you go. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very well-known game. And a very popular one and very well received, so should be good. I'm going to play it for a little bit, but considering that it's a pretty established franchise, um, I, won't, I guess I won't play it for too long. I hear it's really hard, too, and I don't remember. I remember, it, well, I do remember it being hard. I just don't know how hard exactly it is. Oh, did I say Ryuka then? I, I meant Ryuken then, apparently. Um... These games uh, did incorporate cutscenes, which were pretty rare for the Famicom um, and NES, and uh, it's it was uh, pretty astounding uh, to see, you know, these these types of cutscenes going on. Um, I don't think it was the first game to incorporate cutscenes like this, but it was definitely one of the first popular ones. So this one kind of popularized the uh, the whole cutscene aspect. If I could read it, I would, um, but I can't. So you know, maybe someday I'll get the uh, the NES version of uh, of uh, Ninja Ninja Gaiden, and uh, maybe I can stream it if it's not like balls hard. But <laughs> we'll find out. Um, I can stick on walls, so that's pretty cool. Oh, those are item boxes, cool. Nice. 
Oh my god, what is that? It's like a dog man. Get my ass kicked by dog men. Uh, I feel like I could grab onto that. And get to the second level, but I guess not. Okay, so I don't... Hmm. Oh, look, look, there it goes. Ah, shit. I don't know if I have to crouch if I'm trying to hit that guy or what. Ah, damn. We'll say the mechanics are pretty cool. Um, I don't really dig how you stick so firmly onto the wall, but I, you know it's it's whatever. I'm sure you can work work past it. Oh come on, just let me. Come on. Oh, I missed it. Shit. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm 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 getting the hang of it. Nice. Nice. What is this? What are these beeps? Oh, was it? Okay, it was the timer. Alright. Shh, I'm not looking at the HUD. I'm dicking around. That's another thing that made this game really hard, apparently, was, was the timer was just a pain in the ass. Pretty fast-paced, blitz, intense ass action. I dig it. This seems like a really cool game. Ah! It seems like one of those games where you have to kind of memorize what's going on, though. Shit, like where things are. Almost like having to speed run it. Ooh, there we go. Nice. That was, that was redundant. Alright, I'll leave it. Seems like most of the items, I mean, there's a, there's a few that do a few things for you, but... Most of the items don't seem like all that necessary. I wish you could turn in, in midair, that'd be like pretty sweet, but whatever. Ah, I was getting hit by those goddamn dogmen. Sweet, a bar. I had that I had it all worked out in my mind too. Nice. Okay, so not too bad so far. Oh ho! I always love doing that, like in Castlevania. You end the level by jumping in midair. Man, these graphics, look at that. That is some that is slick. That looks good. Nani? Oh my ro. Hey, nan desu ka? Oh, it's a woman. Oh, 
No, it is one. She has a Beretta. Shit. Oh! Has our hero been shot? Find out next time! Or is he in jail? What? I wish I knew what was going on. I really do. <laughs> Did they put him in jail in his ninja gear? You figured that'd be like one of the first things to go, but uh... Oh my god, what is that? Oh, that's the uh, I think it's like the final boss. Since I don't know what's going on anyway, and I'm not planning on, like, playing all the way through this, I'm just gonna skip it. Some kick-ass music, though. NES had such, like, great soundtracks sometimes. It's pretty slick. Ah, oh. I hate how you can't um like go all the way up the ladder. <laughs> like you have to jump on another ledge just to get onto the top. Oh wow, you could jump and spin? That is sick. That, uh, that reminds me of, um... Oh, maybe it was a special. Yeah, I think it was a special ability. Reminds me of, um... Super Star Wars. I know my video game background is, like, not that great, but... <laughs> that's what it reminds me of, I'm sorry. I jump down here? Where am I going? Okay, this is... It's pretty cool, but yeah, it's a little confusing sometimes, but that's alright. It's not that confusing, I, I take that back. It's, it's not that bad. Ah, shit. Oh, that's bullshit! <laughs> oh, game over. Oh, man. God damn it. Oh, well, at least it starts you back on the, uh, the level you were playing on. I think it goes without saying. This this is definitely my favorite one so far. My favorite game that I now own on the Famicom. Just from just from the few minutes that I've played it, it's this is really cool. I dig it. I still don't know, like, what's the deal with the abilities. Ooh, precision. Precision! Mm, no! <laughs> Pushed me off, goddammit. Precision jumping. Yeah, I thought it'd be fast enough. Nice! But yeah, everything... Everything so far is great about it. It controls really nice. Um, it looks great. The visuals are really great. Uh, the music. Shit. Oh, man. I've heard about these guys. I hear that they are a bitch. A bitch and a half. Stage 
YouTube too. I've always heard that this. I remember watching a guy stream this like a while back, and he had nothing but not so great words to say about this. Ah shit. One of his biggest complaints was that, uh, not that I'm thinking about it, is um, when you get hit, you get knocked back. I wish. Ah shit. No, no, that's not the way to do it. I wish I had that spinning jump though. That would have made things easier. Oh, football players, please! Like, what the hell are they? <laughs> Why are they charging at me? I think I've heard about that, too. Like, if you drop down there without taking the ladder, you die. That sounds like some bullshit. That was very lucky. You know what? I'm wasting my time. I could be um, using the flame thing, and I was just like s standing there like a like a yutz. I don't know what a yutz is, but that's what I was doing. Not good. Damn. No! <laughs> Come on, man. Back up a little bit. Damn it. Damn it! Oh, this is awesome. I love it. I am really digging this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'm really digging it. This is... it's wonderful. I gotta... I gotta see if I could get the, uh the NES versions, I really do, because I would love to play this, and like, know what's going on. Shit. Damn. Oh, shit. Shit, no! Damn. Second time I died in that exact spot. Oh, took a little bit of damage, but it is fine by me. Ooh, try again. Yes, yes. Oh, man. It is exhilarating. Oh, did I make it? I made it. <laughs> oh, shit. Boss time. Uh, no, thanks. I don't want that. Oh, man. I was trying to jump, but it wouldn't let me. Nice! <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, got the midair freeze again. I'm sorry. I, I am sort of addicted to this. This is actually like really, really fun. Oh, we got like actual like things that run on four legs now, not just like crazy like dogmen. Oh 
Oh, nice. Oh, that is shit. Okay. You know what? Let's call it there. Um, I might, you know, I might stream this. I might stream the Famicom version. I might play it on my own. Who knows? But um, that is that is something else. That's really fun. That was a lot better than I expected it to be, actually. I've always heard that the Ninja Gaiden was great. And from what I remember playing, it was really fun. But um, I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. All right, our last game um, was another one that was cataloged um, and put on the forefront. I guess because it was well known. Not as well known as Ninja Gaiden, um, but I guess fairly well known in the uh, in the country of origin in Japan. This one is a, another Konami game um, called Parodius. This one was released in 1990. I think this is an arcade game originally, and this is the NES or Famicom rather port. Um, and it's a twin stick shooter. Well, I mean, you know, as much as you can get with a uh, with um, uh, Famicom, but you got, uh, you know, penguins and, like, cats, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've only seen screenshots of this, um, and it looked pretty cool. So, hopefully it is. Uh, we'll give it a test, though, and find out. So, I'm only going to play this for a little bit, though, but uh, let's give it a shot. So, there we go. I got like a little pig thing. And, uh, okay, that was cool. That was a cool, great cutscene. Great, oh, it's probably an octopus. Now that I'm looking at it, that has like panties on his head. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's like an Easter Island head kicking penguins. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's just get into the game. Um... Power meter select. Also, this seems a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it down just a bit. Okay. Um, oh, so this is like a character select. So I could be a jet. I could be an octopus. I can be a, another jet that has, like, Popeye arms. Or I could be a penguin. Uh, I don't know. Why don't we be the thing with the Popeye arms? That seems pretty cool. Oh, um, let's see. Yeah, sure. Why don't we do easy, because, uh... These games sometimes kick my ass. Awesome, alright. Okay, so this is kind of like along similar lines to like Gradius and stuff like that. Oh, nice, I got an upgrade. Pretty cool. like the music. Um, I've seen the arcade version of this. It's obviously more impressive. Ooh! But this is actually not too bad for NES. I think you only get one hit, too, um, before you die, so I don't see like a life meter. Oh, I got bouncy shots, that's cool. <laughs> oh shit. And like a ghost ship following me. Oh they're like um they're like uh boxing gloves. <laughs> that's kinda funny. We got ceiling walking crabs, and something's going on in the back there. I don't know. The map is like eating away at itself. There we go. Get the penguin! Shit. He was running away. He must have been guilty of something. Oh snap, we got pirates and bees. I think that was a treasure chest I just blew up, I'm not too sure. Also, the volume, like, went down considerably. Like, there was a second on the menu where it just seemed kind of high, but... Whatever. Okay, now it seems high again, so no, no. Let's knock it down a bit. Ooh!
Oh, sweet. Is that a barrier? Can I pass through it? Okay, good. Nice! That's pretty cool. Oh man, I kinda gotta sneeze, but... Ugh. No, penguins, please. Just... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! Damn it. Oh, man. All my power-ups reset. So I'm, in, I'm stuck with the sting... Single, not stingle. Single shots now. Ugh. Really stingy with the power-ups, too. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the lag. The lag is getting kind of, kind of intense here. Oh man, <laughs> it just shot up exponentially. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's alive! <laughs> I didn't expect that. I, lo I love the cat sounds. It sounds like air passing out of a very tight space. Nice! Oh, I blew its head up. Sorry, cat. You had to die. Are you- are you dead? What's going on here? And what's with the- like the penguins at the top? Did they like get skewered or something? I don't understand. <laughs> Sh oh no, it wasn't dead! I thought it was just like a very long death sequence. Oh, give me that- Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, is that it? Oh, damn. Alright. Uh, that sucks too, I was like, like, at the boss. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's try a different character. Let's be the octopus. Eh, I'll stick with easy. Oh, well, at least it, uh... Well, then. <laughs> that sucks. At least it, I was gonna say, at least it starts you out, you know, where you... on the last checkpoint, but, like, it puts me right in front of enemies, enemies so that's not cool. Oh, the power-ups look different for the octopus. Oh no! Ooh, this is getting hectic. Oh, what kind of shot is that? Alright, well, I guess it's pretty handy, actually. Never mind. It is a little awkward shooting diagonally, though, I gotta say. Oh shit. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Slow down. Slow down, and then it sped up. Ooh, that is not good. Ooh, yeah. All right, I think this is the boss again. So it's like, what do I have to hit then? It's like I got the cat. And then its head exploded. And then what else? The scope? Oh yeah, the scope actually does get damaged. Nice. Oh, I think it's the bottom, like... I want to say rudder, but that's not it. It's like a propeller. Oh, the penguins died. Now it's strictly a water vessel. And it's sinking. Alright, cool. I think I did it. I think. Okay, now. Oh, 
Oh shit! Pirate penguins. And like lots of slowdown. Also, these guys don't like go down easy. The slowdown at least gives you like a, a slow motion effect, so you can maneuver a little easier. I guess. <laughs> Come on, man. Just, just die. Ugh. Sweet. Is that? Oh, oh, that. F that freaked me out. I thought it was gonna hit me at the last second and kill me. Now we're in space again, I guess. Oh sweet, I got a little buddy. So, were those syringes? Oh sweet, I got sonic waves. Octopus has some nice weapons. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 very good. Oh shit. Oh, I thought those were bullets that were shooting at me. I guess there are no bullets. sort of a void are we walking into now? Digging the music, yeah. It's good. Oh my, oh my god, no. No clowns. No thanks, not interested. Can I just, can I just bypass you? Yeah, okay. We don't we don't do clowns here. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah. Nice. Oh man, bubbles coming from underneath. Out. Damn right you're out. I don't want to go like too far ahead because I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> trying to play it very cautious, like. Oh no! Oh, I totally missed it. I did not see it. I didn't see the little bullet there. Ah shit! Ah! Man, I had like some really good weapons too. Clowns ain't going down easy either. Oh shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh well. That was pretty fun though. Uh, I'm gonna call it quits right now though, but um, I enjoyed that. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I might actually. I might stream one of these. I might do Ninja Gaiden or I might do Parodius. I don't know, but. Uh, that uh, was definitely pretty awesome. Yeah, these cartridges are hot. Ooh. I might look into getting a transformer, a step-down transformer uh, for this thing. I'm glad it at least works. That is the best thing. Um, so that was what I was worried about the most, <laughs> that it was not just, like, flat-out not going to work. But, I mean, NES 101, Famicom AV, the only NES that you can buy... Um, right out of the, well, you know, out of the box, so to speak, um, where you can connect it to AV. Um, only the, only the, uh, it was called the uh, NES 101, I think, here, or the NES Mini. Um, but with, uh, with the one that we got uh, in the States, our NES Mini was not AV for some reason. Um, 
which it came out in the 90s, so it's like really weird. The Super Nintendo was already out, and the Super Nintendo did not have coaxial, and uh, the NES Mini did, and uh, it really sucked. Um, Because that's what I was looking at getting at first. I wanted to get the NES Mini because I thought it had AV, but it didn't. But fortunately, the Famicom version did. The only thing is, though, is I'm just really worried about that uh, the whole voltage issue. Because yeah, it's a little, it's a little warm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe I'll get a step down transformer. But I'm actually like really happy I have something to play Famicom games now and uh, NES games when I get my adapter. I mean, I put so much money into this goddamn thing. I'm getting the adapter to play American games, getting the step down transformer so I don't like burn it out. <laughs> But um, I have a working Famicom, so that is pretty cool. So I guess you guys can expect uh, some streams from this old thing. Uh, um, but yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to give it a little clean and uh, set it up on my shelf. But yeah, really excited to have that on hand. But uh, thank you guys for watching. There's a few of you today. Uh, thank you, Vamp and Yumo, for being in chat. You guys are awesome. And um, I guess hopefully we'll see you on Wednesday. Uh, we'll be my next stream. I will be finishing South Park, The Stick of Truth, and depending on how long that is, I might do something a little extra. Maybe. We'll see. But uh, in the meantime, you guys have a good night. Have a good rest of your day. It goes for tomorrow, too. And uh, we'll see you in a couple days. So, take care. <laughs>